A lot of people throw around the word exponential thinking that it means a lot or a lot more. It doesn't mean that and it's actually kind of difficult to understand at an intuitive level. However, I actually feel that it's very important that as many people understand it as possible. I want to give you a kind of gut feeling of how it works and what it means. This whole video is going to be completely visual apart from just a little tiny bit of maths which will make sense to everyone I think. First let's look at this example. So this is a pond, it's got one lily pad in it. Imagine that this lily pad is going to reproduce once every day and all of its offspring are going to reproduce once every day as well. How long do you think it will take before the entire pond is covered in these plants? Just think about that while I go through day by day. So here's day two, still lots of room in the pond. Day three, they've doubled again. Day four, still plenty of room. It's almost all open water. Now day five, day six, day seven, day eight. Within eight days, we've gone from one to 128 lily pads. Let's go back and look at the halfway period in time, day four. Here we might be halfway through in time, but we are definitely not halfway full in the pond. It's the second last day that the pond is half full. This kind of growth is kind of counterintuitive. And when something is going through exponential growth in the early stages, most people completely underestimate how quickly things are going to change even when the exponential growth has been going on for quite a while. Let's see what it looks like in a graph. We take the number one, then double it and double that number and so on. You can see that after just 16 turns, we arrive at 32,768. But exponential growth isn't just about doubling the last number, it's about increasing the last number by a certain ratio. So if your next number is 3% larger than the last one, this is also exponential growth. A hundred years ago, in 1916, Australia's population was about 5 million people. Today, it's 24 million, and our current rate of growth in 2016 is 1.8% per year. If this continues at the same rate for another century, our population will be 141 million, and if it continues the same for another century after that, it'll be 842 million. We'd then tick over a billion 10 years later. That may or may not actually happen to Australia, but if you're skeptical that this can happen to human populations over long periods of time, here's a graph of the human population since 10,000 BC. If we know this can happen to us, does that knowledge have any effect on how we decide to manage our societies? Well, think about this. If the global GDP is growing at less than 3% per year, quite a few economists would consider that a global recession. The economist Kenneth Boulding said, Anyone who believes in infinite growth on a finite planet is either mad or an economist. A very provocative statement. One of the problems being a scientist working in this is the frustration that the people making the decisions um, don't rarely talk to scientists, very, to very rarely talk to uh, social scientists. They do talk to economists, <laughs> which may be the problem. Yeah, what about that? <laughs> <laughs> And so uh, it's a problem. So one of the things I have discovered, incidentally, in my talking with politicians and policymakers and hmm. so on, is that uh, most people uh, don't understand what an exponential is. When you say something's expanding exponentially, you don't understand what it is. And if, if you give me a minute, I'll present a little cartoon of that. Can I take a second? And Do it. Okay. Exponential. So here it is. Um, so imagine that I want to make a test tube of penicillin. And I know that if I start at 8 o'clock in the morning with a couple of penicillin bacteria, I'll fill up the tube. Okay, at noon. Mm -hmm. At noon. Okay. So you put these, this bacterium in the test tube, and it doubles every second. Every second is doubling. And I've calculated that by noon it will be full. Question, when is it half full? What time between 8 and noon is the tube half full? Just a second. second before. So it's only half full a second before. Now think of the following. Think of five seconds before. Five seconds before is 2 to the fifth, which is 32. So it's 3% full. So five seconds before, here's this test tube, and it's just this teeny weeny bit. So those bacteria in there are saying, it's great, We're doubling, growing, everything's fantastic. Looks like it's infinity to go, you know. They don't realize that five seconds later, it's all over. 
that's exponential growth. And that's the problem. So, Robin Sloan asked, I... <laughs> The news is best just before the news gets catastrophic. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, 